all right guys so um, in this video here today I'm gonna be talking about how to prep yourself for a wedding shoot so this is like how to prep yourself you know um, before you shoot a wedding or you know a few days before the wedding a week before the wedding so how to prep yourself for a wedding shoot so let's go <music> Tip number one is get all the information, all the details, get all that stuff ready, get all that stuff in order. I recommend that you get all that information as soon as you can, as soon as you and the client, you know, she signs the contract or he signed the contract or they sign the contract. As soon as they get all that, you know, done and they give you the deposit, make sure you get all the information. What I mean by all the information is you know the location the time uh, what time they'll, they'll need you there and the schedule of the of the wedding you know the timeline of the day and the main contact who you should contact when you get there and um you know just get all the information about the wedding so that way you know you don't have to sweat it a day before the wedding you know or a week before the wedding so just get all that out the way just make sure you have all that stuff if the because most couples, if they book you like, you know, months before or maybe even a year before, they won't have the full, like, you know, schedule ready or they'll keep making changes to the schedule and the timeline and stuff like that. And what time the one should arrive and stuff like that. They might even change the whole package. So just make sure that you have all that information ready the day before the wedding. So um, I mean the day before the wedding as in have it ready whenever you you know whenever available as soon as it's available tell the bride or the groom whoever you're talking to you know before uh, tell them um, after they sign the contract you tell them that you need all that, that information as soon as they get it so that way you can prep and stuff like that so that way you know you have all that you know so you don't you're not panicking or you're not rushing or I've had times when the bride and groom change things last minute or they tell me, oh, come this time. And then like uh, in the, the morning of the wedding, they're like, oh, can you come an hour later or an hour early? So just make sure you might even want to contact the bride and groom like a week before and say, oh, is this schedule still um, is this still the schedule we're going to follow for this wedding? Or, you know, any changes to the schedule, just like talk to them and know if there's any changes. And also before the day of the wedding or two days before the wedding, call them. Or maybe even the morning of the wedding, call them and say, oh, is everything good to go? You know, just making sure everything is good to go. That's what I do. So you can do that if you want. But, you know, I'm just recommending that you get all the information before the day of the wedding. Don't start, you know, doing last minute things. It's all, it's not nice to do things last minute. In anything you do, it's not nice to do things last minute. I mean, you know, I do a lot of things last minute and I hate that about myself. So that's why, um, you know, I'm giving you guys this advice that don't do things last minute. Number two on this list is um, get your wedding gear together. So get all your stuff, all your equipment, get all that stuff ready. If you're going to charge the batteries, make sure you get all the batteries ready, especially the fact that I shoot on Sony and I need a lot of batteries. So I make sure all my 10 batteries or my 20 batteries are charged for the Sony camera. I make sure if I'm going to use Canon, I make sure everything, all the batteries, especially that's the most important thing. Make sure all the batteries are charged. Make sure all the SD cards that you're going to use are cleaned out and all this important stuff that you had on there is backed up or whatever. But just make sure that... These two things are ready to go, the batteries and the SD cards, guys. Make sure that that stuff is ready to go, and uh, you're going to be good on the day of the wedding. And if anything, um, you know, you can pack everything and put it in your car. If you live in a place where people are not going to steal stuff or break into your car, you know, if you live in a gated community, some of you guys do, you know, so you put everything in the car and stuff like that. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't recommend that, but at least put it by the door close to, you know, so that way on um, the day of the wedding, you can just get that stuff and be on your way. So that way you're not like packing on the day of the wedding, you know, you're packing everything, you want to charge stuff, you want to, you know, like clean out your SD cards. I mean, I've been in situations like that, so I'm recommending to you guys, like, don't do that. Always have your stuff 
way before the day of the wedding if you can. You know, if you don't have other shoots, have everything ready, you know. It's always better to, you know, be prepared, you know, because they say if you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail, you know. So that's the situation, and that's the that's going to be the slogan for this video. If you if you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. So yes, um, so number three, number three is um, it kind of goes with number two, but this is number three for a reason because it needs its own, you know, it needs its own spotlight. So number three is the outfit you're gonna wear. A lot of people underestimate this, and I always do underestimate this. Get, you know, your outfit ready, especially like me. I wear shirts and, you know, dress pants and stuff like that. So I always um, get, that, get that stuff ready before the day of the wedding. Um, sometimes I have a lot of dress shirts and a lot of, you know, pants. So I just... Pick, pick them out, but if you only have like one outfit that you wear at every wedding, make sure you wash that before, I mean of course, make sure you get that ready before the day of the wedding, make sure you iron your dress pants, because sometimes I find myself, myself ironing on the day of the wedding, which is stupid, you know, don't do that, you know, get all that stuff ready, so the day of the wedding, your mind is relaxed, and you just flow, and you just go in with the flow, everything is ready, so... Yeah, so just make sure that you have your outfit ready. Outfit, outfit, outfit. Don't underestimate this, guys. Have your outfit ready before the day of the wedding, guys. Have that ready. Okay, it's very important, you know. You don't want to be picking out your outfit on the day of the wedding. Have that already ready, guys. So that's very important, and that's why it needs a point of its own, you know. So that was tip number three. So tip number four is um, write down creative um, filming ideas depending on the location, depending on the couple, and depending on the package that the couple choose. Okay, guys, this tip is very imp important on the creative part of, you know, getting your stuff ready for a wedding. You want to, um, you know, make sure you do your research on the venue, if you haven't been there yet, if it's if you haven't been there physically, that's not you know an excuse like oh I didn't see the venue so I can't prep ideas and blah blah blah. Like in this day and age of the internet, you can Google anything, you can check images, you can check video of the place if at all available. But and also you can just here's another tip, and this is supposed to be a bonus tip. You know, here's this bonus tip. I'll just give it to you guys. So what I do sometimes is, I don't know if it's fair, but I do it sometimes, is um, I Google the venue, you know, and then I um, I Google weddings that have been shot at that venue and just look at what other artists, what other filmmakers did with the venue, with the location, and see what kind of angles they took and what kind of, you know, uh, establishing shots they did there and just like, just, just like look at what other people did with the venue. And this is very important. This is, this is, you know, this tip is like, this tip is worth you guys watching this video. So, like, Google the venue and just watch um, videos, other highlight videos that other wedding videographers have done at that venue. So once you see what other people have done, you can always do better because you're going to get ideas from this person and that person and that person and that person. And then, like, just, like, create your own twist to it and just make it even better than those people. You know, so that's why you need to Google the venue and watch other highlight videos that were created at that venue that you're going to shoot at. So it's always a good thing to do. You know, it's a smart thing to do uh, creatively looking at different things, you know, so that way you have ideas. And, um, you know, and also as a photographer, if you do photography, this is also for photographers in case one of you guys are photographers is watching this. Um always Google images that were done at the location you're going to shoot the wedding at and look at what other people did with that space. And then you can kind of recreate that and put your own twist or just do whatever. But at least just have, you know, just have ideas. It's better to have ideas than to have no ideas. You know what I'm saying? It's better when you're working with something than if you're not working with nothing. So um, that's what I do, guys. That's That tip alone was worth you guys watching this video. So just watch other highlight videos and 
get all those ideas and just create your own. Okay, guys. So that's the write down creative filming ideas, you know, depending on the location and depending on the package, of course, because, you know, as videographers, you have different packages and couples choose different packages depending on, you know, their needs and depending on their budget. So, um, you know, so just like um, write down ideas before you get to the location. And like I said, you know, you can't uh, make an excuse as, oh, no, I haven't been to the location. You can Google anything. Some of these venues even have Facebook pages. They have Instagram pages. You know, you can look at the location and, you know, like, oh, at that place, I'm going to do this and this. And if you have time to go there, I don't go, at, I don't go to locations, you know, because I don't charge for my time going there. But if I did and um, if I did charge for that or if it's close to me, I would go there and just take a look at the location and be like, okay, but again, tip number five is going to explain why I don't go to location before the day of the wedding. Okay, so then tip number five is um, give yourself room for errors. Give yourself time. I give myself at least an hour and a half um, for errors. So meaning like for situations I can't control like traffic, accidents, you know, mother nature and stuff like that. And, um, you know, just give yourself time to account for that stuff so that way you're not panicking. You're not calling the bride and groom saying, oh, I'm going to be an hour late. I'm going to be this late. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't make it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Always give yourself time for errors because you never know what happens um, on the road to uh, the venue and stuff like that. So, And um, I always try and get to the place an hour early. So that's why I give myself time. So. If you get to the venue an hour early, you're going to have time to look around and do whatever you want to do. And yeah, so that's the, those are the tips, guys. So hopefully you guys use these tips before the day of the wedding. And thank you and make sure you subscribe and I'll be dropping more videos.